Day one of the YCS has come and gone here, ladies and gentlemen, and I want to talk about some of the things that I've heard from Twitter, the community, and just kind of give a state on how the game looks through the eyes of the first YCS back. I'm back at 30% of you guys have not smashed the crap out of that subscribe button. Smash it so we can get to 104,000. So, YCS is still going here. I want to talk about a combination of things that I've seen and heard out of the events here. And the first thing I, I want to say about this event is Yuri Diaz is, as far as I saw, was has been doing updates in the Shadal group. And they're playing a Shadal adventure deck, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I just want to say that Shadals have been pretty back burner this format, but that's not a bad thing, ladies. And I'm actually rooting for Yuri because I, I want to see, I want to see what kind of craziness is unfolding in this Shadal adventure deck. And you know, you're probably like, well, Robbie, it's just like you, you cut out the Alistair engine and you put in the Brave stuff. Yeah, probably. But let's be honest here, you know. If Blunder's taking control of the proper elements here, Shadal can do the exact same thing. So. That's like the first big thing, like in terms of like rogue player representation that I've seen out here that I'm genuinely excited about. So that is a big thing, ladies and gentlemen. So I hope to see that Yuri can bring that on home. So general other things going on within the sphere of the YCS. So rogue, 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 rogue is going to be the name of the game. Though I did see that tri Trippy Distant Coder, right? Which was actually, I think that was pretty exciting to see. This is, YCS is stacked with some of the biggest names returning to the game, and if you guys, you shouldn't have been shocked about that. Players out here have wanted to play back at the first YCS in quite some time. So, one of the, the general complaints that we're hearing out of this YCS, and I, I wanna use these complaints kind of as like, a uh, discussion point here for what needs to happen in the next list here because I, I was scrolling through a lot of Twitter today um, reading a lot of like comments and generalizations about this YCS and I can agree with some of the points that came out of this YCS and you know just more complaints from the player base in general here so one of the biggest things I heard about this YCS was watching the event was really hard um, a lot of people tuned out and and I don't mean this it's not like the commentators fault it's it's not like that it's watching some of the matchups in this format is a little bit of a slugfest I'm not gonna lie to you um, I saw a few OCG players that were trying to watch the uh, the events and they were like I'm I'm tuning out because like all the adventure stuff just kind of dilutes the format but that's the result of the current card pool there's there's nothing like with coverage or things like that it's literally the adventure packages do make this format a little bit harder to watch but once again we knew this one of the hardest things that I heard from players that was really hard to swallow this event was <laughs> watching a flunder reason mirror was really hard and i'm not gonna lie to you <sighs> potentially sitting here for 45 minutes while we stream a flunder mirror match um you know i might be more inclined to watch paint dry at that point in time but that's once again just the result of general pickings and once again you know a combination of things going on within the format here um unfortunately this isn't one of the better formats to watch and be excited for ladies and gentlemen you know yeah you can be excited for like like based and you know the powerhouse decks that kind of do their thing but you know when you're slug festing through you know swiss rounds here and you got a freaking flunderies mirror match that uh, it just kind of makes people upset eat spaghetti. Well, with that all being said, ladies and gentlemen, I just want to say this, all right, in, in terms of coverage. Coverage is fine. I don't have a personal problem with it. It's just I understand for entertainment value and players wanting to, you know, catch a stream that some parts are not optimal. And you can think Brave and you can think certain mirror matches for that happening. So, once again, it's a problem with the format right now um, and things like that. So, that being said, complaints that I heard out of the YCS. Oh my god. My first one here has got to go out to DZ posting that he lost his deck and then saying later on that it was found. Now, that's not a complaint at DZ for anything, but it came with the rest of the community that 
didn't read the follow-up statement and then proceeded to just go on endless rants about stealing. Um, now, I understand that reading and updating things is hard, ladies and gentlemen, but please take a couple seconds to educate yourself and know that something wasn't stolen that wasn't stolen. That was that was a big left thing out of left field that the community, for some reason today, just didn't take time to read updates. And they're like, oh my god, I don't want to go to these events because people are stealing. No. DZ left his stuff at a vendor table, got it back, everything is good, nothing was stolen, at least in possession of that. Alright, so, uh, that's that's my little sub rant about this. Now, in terms of players from the YCS, actually, the biggest complaint I got out of this event was actually just a lot of people complaining about Fusion Destiny. Um, there was not a single complaint that I seen about Scythe. Maybe I missed something out here, but hilariously enough, ladies and gentlemen, um, I didn't hear a single complaint about Scythe. I heard more complaints out here about the Flunder Mirror than anything else. So if, if you have to understand once again, like the format we're in inherently its watchability is like garbage, right? We, we've identified like 9,000 problems that are just meh in the format. Like, and we understand this as a player base that there are issues with the game, but man, oh man, it's it's very interesting. One of the cool things out of this YCS though was this uncut sheet of starlights that popped up into the mar or the the little prize wall that could come up. I actually thought that this was sick, ladies and gentlemen. Holy crap. Um, immense value. You guys know like this is a prize wall, right? At some YCSs where you can redeem tickets and stuff and get these really cool uncheats. And you already know that somebody out there's looking at this going, ooh fancy value and I mean yeah that's a lot of money printed on that that's at least probably ten thousand dollars in cardboard presented to you right there ladies and gentlemen so outside of generalized complaints on coverage being unwatchable because of constraints from the format um, I'm excited to see what will come out of this top cut what are we looking at here now I still have got money that Praying Kids is going to run this one on home. Um, the reason why I say that is Praying Kids have had so many regional wins this format. Like, I, I just want to go Z, 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 Z every single time, you know, Praying Kids comes up into the block because, you know, on a regional level, it has been the consistent grinder that it is. Now, am I, am I going to be surprised if something like Based comes through or Dragon Link? No, Dragon Link really does shine in formats like this where you have better players present. You know, you're not always going to have the best of the best players at a regional level. That's just not how it happens, all right? A lot of players are more spread out. More players kind of congregate together for a YCS level event. So something that requires a higher skill curve um, might actually end up being the big winner for this event, which I think would be a good thing, ladies and gentlemen. I, I would really like to see something come through here and kind of upset the existence of this. You know, Albaz is literally a week away. You know, whatever we're sitting on in this format is going to warp as it is. So whatever preconceived notions that you're going to have set up for this, once Albaz enters in in a week here, it's not going to matter. All right. So hopefully we see something other than praying kids turn the format upside down here but if this YCS is not an eye opener for Konami that changes need to happen in the format here at least I said at the very end of this here like you need some better watchable matches and you know like I said seeing players talking about oh my god like the Flunder Mirror was so terrible you know like seeing some of these matchups watchability yeah I understand it's is what it is once again you can blame the constraints of the format right now being what it is ladies and gentlemen it's just it's not a format that's really exciting at the end of the day so we'll see how top cut unfolds here we'll see if there's something more exciting to come on down the pipeline here but where we're sitting ladies and gentlemen yeah it's an interesting place to say the least so guys leave a comment down below tell me what you guys think make sure you guys smash the crap out of that subscribe button 
so you guys don't miss out on more awesome content. And I will see your beautiful faces back here later on in the day with hopefully a top cut breakdown for you guys tomorrow. Peace out, guys. Patrons, thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.